I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as the Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff organizations for 40 plus years now. I want to talk to you and offer some no BS hiring advice to help you not experience some heartbreak. Now, I, w- I want to start by saying that more and more organizations are finding it difficult to hire the talent that they need to be able to fill requirements and thus effectively compete. Part of the reason they're finding it difficult is that the speed of hiring that other firms are engaged in is faster than perhaps yours is. That they're willing to go an extra mile faster in order to find talent, respond to it, sell to it, evaluate and assess it, of course, but ultimately try to get them on board. If your organization is slow moving, if it takes a week for a manager to get back to HR, for example, and another few days for HR to respond to a candidate to schedule that person back for an interview, you're asking for trouble. In a lot of fields, there are already labor shortages where firms are completely unable to find talent to adequate degrees to fill requirements and then are methodically going about evaluating and assessing. And and I must in all candor say, I'm not telling you not to evaluate, but heck, you can do it faster. When did you become this big bureaucracy that's so lumbering and so cumbersome that you're going to lose talent and eventually market share because you're not going to be able to get done what you need to get done? Think for a second. Think about what the impact is of not hiring someone, of not making a decision, of being so slow and cumbersome because maybe you're afraid of being wrong. Well, you're going to be wrong sometimes if you know you act slowly too. Uh, and, and frankly, the person who's going to be out there longest is the one you should be a little reticent of because other firms aren't being the path to their door. So wake up. You know, try to evaluate and assess quickly. Sell the candidate on joining you, enjoying your opportunity, and joining your march to success instead of you know, slowly and methodically. Well, I'll give you an example. I once worked for this recruiting firm uh, many years ago where the owner of the firm was 350 pounds. And what I learned in my time working there was that when you weigh a lot, you can't move that quickly. I should have realized this right off the bat, but you know, he was methodical. Uh, everything was cumbersome and hard to him. Uh, he found it difficult to take action. I believe he learned that behavior out of having so much weight. Well, a lot of your organizations act exactly the same way as that 350-pound man does. Uh, and when all is said and done, the impact on your organization could be tragic. I don't have to point out to you how many well-known organizations have fallen into disrepair and eventually disappeared from the screen um, you know, by acting as though they were impervious to the effects of the market. Uh, recently, we had the disappearance of black, uh, blockbuster retail stores. Uh, you know, a firm that once turned down an offer to buy Netflix for four hundred million dollars now has disappeared, and you know, Netflix is clearly the victor. We could look at Kodak cameras. We're watching the Death Watch uh, on BlackBerry. On and on and on. Big cumbersome firms that move slowly. Uh, that are slow to market with products and ideas and are slow to hire talent, often methodically create the seeds for their failure. Move faster. You can do it. Create a culture within your firm where the expectation is, I'll talk to you as an HR professional. HR, the demand of of the people that you support that they get back to you quickly and they're prepared to take action. Hiring managers, you know what you need. And you know how to evaluate and assess for it. And if you don't, find out how to do it and stop acting as though you're afraid of making a mistake. Make decisions. Evaluate, assess, make decisions. If the person doesn't fit, move on, get to the next one. And get into that habit. 
Respond to HR. If HR isn't moving fast enough for you, go around them. Schedule the interview directly with the candidate. Move it on. Move it up. Get them in. Get them hired. Because ultimately, your ability to command excellence and demonstrate you know, your ability to succeed is going to be predicated on your ability to get talent on quickly and get them productive. So this is Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, uh, share it, leave a comment, click the like button, let people know that it was useful. In addition, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is The Big Game Hunter TV. All one word, The Big Game Hunter TV, and you'll get notices whenever I do a new video for YouTube. In addition, come over to my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.net, and while you're there, subscribe to my e-zine, which is called No BS Hiring Advice. I publish it monthly with advice for HR professionals, hiring managers, and small business owners to help you make even better staffing decisions. While you're there, you can read some of the articles I've cre uh, curated from around the web. <laughs> Almost misspoke there in a funny way. Some of the articles I've curated from around the web that are designed to help you make even better hiring decisions. A couple of more things. First of all, uh, if your firm's trying to hire someone, I'd love to help your firm staff positions. Send me an email at the address below. Let me know when I can speak with you, or if it's not you, point me to the right person, and let me know if I can mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. And finally, if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. This is Jeff Altman. Hope you have a great day. Take care.